Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of Windbreakers. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. See? And it's coming out today. And it's coming out tomorrow! <laughs> Literally, while I was about to record Layback Camp, I was like, wait! <laughs> You okay? <laughs> oh. Especially after everything that happened. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you got this. Excuse me, what's the question? Well, I can't really answer a guy's aesthetic, but I could definitely answer for mine. Big ass no. Well, yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there you go.
damn piercings. I know that one has to hurt. Maybe. I mean, because, like, of course your ears, those are sensitive-ish, but right there. Not for me. Like, literally, what I want to do with my ears, like, I already have my, like, I've had these ones for, like, the longest time. And then you're wanting to get, like, the next set. But my mom and I have talked about, like, certain things. It's just, like, well, because, you know, like, genetics and some of the things that your parents were allergic to, you're kind of allergic to as well. It, it's kind of like that. And so my mom is, like, yeah, try it, but just be cautious and such so I don't know because like for the last what 10 years I've been wanting that but you know life We're just going to a gym. Okay. <laughs> Probably can. Sure, you need to eat. Can we eat first, boys? Like, food, hungry, need. Out of all characters, you have a girlfriend? Well, I mean, look at him. He's gorgeous, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, we on a date.
It's okay. I mean, all he cares about is her right now. That's a date. So, you know, no interruptions. I, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Right then and there. We're done. You're right. Yes. They so cute. Oh my god. Nice, babe. I mean, well, what else are we supposed to do?
I mean, but in a way, yeah, you're working together, so fuck it. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Is the creed like the code of conduct or something? <laughs> I mean, well, you know, he just a big old teddy bear, so you know, hey, big old softy, but you know, gotta yell when he hits her. It's cute. Also, I'm not one for piercings for a guy, but like, god dang, he attractive as fuck. I mean, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, no, because Hirotaka doesn't have any. He just did it that one time, but still, fine as fuck. Well, <laughs> oh, okay, well, what, oh, <laughs> They're texting you.
Well, I mean, you guys were texting, and, you know, he's trying to do the simple way. <laughs> he's so cute. He could have just did a big old question mark and been like, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> Oh, baby daddy. Oh, no, not baby daddy. Okay. He cute, though. Yeah. He's so cute. Oh, my God. Is that who I think that is voicing him? Hello, daddy? Yes? Gotta look that up after, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my baby. <laughs> At least he made two new friends, and he got more contact lists. Like, yay! Oh, oh my God, what am I doing on my phone? But yay! <laughs> it's so good to have friends, and I'm so happy for him because now he can text them all the time. Even though Sakura is not like the greatest at texting, as we just saw, but he, he you know, give him some time give them some time you know there are some people who are like instantly wanting to do like memes as like um or gifts as texting some people actually do just the fingers and everything or sometimes it's the voice memos and stuff me i kind of do a little bit of all three um or i just send a little picture and i'm like hey how you doing or hi you know what up and such but yeah yeah, yeah. i kind of do the same when i'm on like my social medias and stuff and when someone sends me like a dm um but no, oh my god, this was just a sweet episode. I mean, to, like, go into the thing of seeking the girl that was with him, with the pink-haired guy, um, was his girlfriend. I'm like, damn, I'm like, okay. At least some of y'all got girlfriends, even with despite that you're doing all this. But hey, which is cute. But he's super adorable. He gets me, like, feels towards, oh my god. Um, it's another pink-haired character. It was, he was from that Magical Boy series. I just don't remember his name who is just, like, very, he's quiet, but, yeah, a little bit of a loud mouth, but when the time comes, he's ready to kick some ass. And, boy, did he kick some ass today, even though he was handing them all to Sakura. <laughs> but the, okay, I think it's really cute, the fact that his only contact was the weather. <laughs> Because, yeah, the water is kind of the most interesting thing that you have to know. Because it's like, you need to know if it's going to be sunny or rainy or whatever. But, like, just in case you need to bundle up some more and such. So, I get that. I mean, like, my my contacts, I have so many and such. I don't have, like, I think all together I maybe have under a 100. I don't have, like, over a uh, 1,000. Bitch, who, who does? I think if I look at, like, okay, mm-hmm, I found it. 45, but I'm wondering what this random number is. We're going to delete that number. Can I delete that? Delete that. 44, but seriously, because there's, um, some of them I have from work. Some of them are friends, family members. Um, some of them are mailbox customers for my job and stuff that I have to essentially contact due to, like, um, the situation that my former manager has put me in and such and being like hey you need to do this yada yada and such but no yeah it's always good to have contact but i don't know how many people like i, I don't know if you can have like a hundred people i don't know how the hell oh some people have a hundred i remember this one time like this was maybe pre no not middle high school me because i was here um for some weird reason, like, I used to have Sprint before I went to T-Mobile, and I was getting a new phone, and it took, like, forever 
for it to essentially sync up my contacts and such because I had not only like my regular contacts, I had Twitter contacts for some weird reason. I, I don't know. I think that's when like Sprint and Twitter had like this thing where you could just sync up your contacts. And, and I didn't want that. And I kept telling them every single time, do not do it. But they kept doing it. So always, it took forever for the contacts. And I'm just like, bruh. But then now, like, especially when I get a new iPhone and such, um, whenever I do get a new iPhone, because I'm keeping this one for a hot ass minute, um, the biggest thing is just, like, you know, syncing up everything else, make sure all my freaking apps from both of my iTunes accounts are there, <laughs> my Apple accounts, my English and my Japanese, because I'm like, ah, I still have Japanese games that I still play, but no, this was a really sweet episode. Honestly, I cannot wait to see how next week is going to go. And such, I love the fact that they instantly all just want to make the rep Sakura. But, I, I mean, here, here's the thing. Baby doesn't really know what it is, mostly. So, I, I would say give to someone who really, uh, if they end up saying, like, yeah, let it be him. Let ha let him have someone to, like, guide him and help him, you know? Because that's, like, the best thing. I'm just saying with that, but who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 11 of Windbreaker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 12, which I'm guessing is, we're either on the last episode next week or the second to last episode. I'm not 100% sure about that, so I'll find that out probably sometime this week next week. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!